Yeah, so my name is Trevor Yoakum. I uh, work for Mesotronics Corporation. We're a marine construction uh, solution provider. Uh, we install and support guidance systems for all sorts of heavy machinery and machine uh, in marine construction. Um, and we've brought that uh, to PDS with, with pile driving. Let's see. So earlier this year, uh, this all came together at Con Expo, uh, where we were introducing a joint partnership between Teledyne Marine and Trimble, uh, two of our largest partners, um, in their effort to rebrand PDS for a larger market in the United States. And uh, we had a customer, uh, Alva Construction from Canada, approach us uh, with a unique problem they were having. Um, they wanted to develop a system that would rework how they position piles. Um, the way they were doing it before uh, was, was a little convoluted. Uh, they'd have a guy standing on a, a wooden platform here and on the opposite dock, and uh, they would just have a rover pole to get their position and uh, a wooden triangle with a, a level up to it to, to get the right inclination. And, uh, it wasn't very efficient, it wasn't very safe, and so they wanted to come up with a new way to, uh, to approach that, and uh, we thought we might be able to come up with a solution for them. Um, a couple of unique requirements that they had uh, were battered piles, which are, which are not vertical. Uh, they require a little bit of pitch. Uh, compound battered piles, which uh, due to the way that they had to approach uh, the dock, you know, you see how close the uh, piles are together. They couldn't really get in there. Um, so the uh, compound batter piles require a pitch and a roll to them, um, and they were using timber piles, which, you know, they're not, they're straight, but they're not straight, and um, when they put the level up to it, there might be a bend or a fluctuation in the wood, and it just uh, wasn't getting them to where they wanted to be. So um, we approached PDS, and uh, they're great to work with, and we told them our, our idea of what we thought that the software would need. And uh, they created a, a beta version for us, uh, but we didn't want to just pass that beta version on to the customer. So I uh, made this mock-up of a pile driver, just PVC pipe. Uh, we were using all the sensors that we would use on a real pile driver and uh, use the software as we, as we would use it out there in the field. And um, between... Uh, four or five, six times going back and forth with the, uh, the PDS guys, um, giving them uh, feedback on bugs or missing drivers or displays that we wanted to have. Um, you know, they, they responded quickly and, and, and got them in there for us and uh, eventually came up with a product that, that was perfect for the customer. Um, we have a video here. It shows it in action. So this uh, 3D screen over here uh, was something that really appealed to the customer um, with how close all the piles are and, and the, the angles that they needed. Um, it was something that would really help the operator uh, understand where it needs to be. Uh, this left side here, the, the top-down view, uh, gets them to the right position much quicker than they were before. Um, just testing it with a rover pole. And it uh, simply becomes a game of trying to, to put the green pile, the current pile that they have on top of the, the target pile, the yellow one. And uh, they're very happy with it. Um, it. They're putting in three, four, five times as many piles a day than they were before. And uh, there's actually, if, if you guys are interested, there's a, an article uh, with a whole profile of this project in uh, ENR, Engineering News Record, uh, as well as Piling Canada, I think, if you're Canadian. Um, so that brings me to, uh, we were able to bring the success from that project um, to the mainstream uh, near shore, as we like to call it, piling. Uh, PDS, they have... Uh, they had monopile piling, which is offshore uh, wind turbines that, that are always vertical, very big. Um, but we, we had the, off, uh, the near shore piling in, in America. It seemed to be an underserved market. 
and um, some of the requirements that, that we've seen uh, from our piling projects uh, require barge positioning and anchor handling. Um, the commun communication between the barges, the tugs, the operators, it's all very crucial in uh, time management to, to get to the right spot uh, quick enough. And uh, when it comes to dropping anchors and spreading down, um, a lot of times uh, there, there are hazards underneath, underneath the ground. And, uh, you know, you're on water. You don't know exactly where you are. Um, so, you know, you don't want to put a spud through a, like a utility line or a water line, gas line, uh, shipwrecks, environmentally protected areas. Um, so uh, PDS provides that. Um, the pile positioning and guidance, this is, this is where the efficiency comes into play. Um, it gives us real-time monitoring of the, of the current position relative to the target position. Um, and down here, it gives vessel referenced um, distances to the target, uh, which really helps uh, the operator uh, or the, the tug driver get them right to where they need to be, or, or very close at least, uh, very quickly without having to go over a radio and say, hey, you need to go three feet left, no, the other left, you know, stuff like that. Um, it gets them there quickly and inaccurately. And reporting uh, is, a bi is a big thing for, for several customers. Um, and these reports can be customized to be, uh, have any, any sort of numerical that, that's in the project for their computations. Uh, you have lead position, the, uh, how far away you are from the target, the inclination for when it goes in, and it runs for 30 seconds, it runs for five minutes, and it gives you a, an average. So. Um, you know what it, what it was like when you placed it. And so when the surveyors come back a couple days later, if it started to tilt or anything like that, you can say, hey, we placed it right. It just, it just fell or something like that. Um, so some of the typical pile driving setups, um, you know, we have this one right here where it's, it's hanging from a, a crane. Um, you have the, the hammer or the vibrator at the top, but there's nothing really to keep it in place at the bottom. Um, because of that, it's very hard to um, put sensors on it to, to measure the inclination. Uh, you know, we can put a positioning, a, a GPS at the top of the boom, but um, it's just assuming that the, the pile is directly underneath and if you're in a current or something, it's gonna drag it a little bit and it's really hard to track that. Uh, so this is not, not ideal, but people still do it. Uh, this is the most common setup, uh, independently moving leads, uh, being held by a crane. Um, you know, you can, this one's fairly large, but it, it allows for us to, to utilize the leads as a, um, a model for, for what the pile is doing. Um, so there's a, you, you put, we'll put the um, GPS and inclinometer on the leads, uh, and we're assuming that the position, the center of the pile, is going to be the same. So, you know, that we'll have gates that hold it or put wedges in there to make sure that the center of the pile is, is consistent and uh, that when the leads move, that the pile moves. Um, so we're, we're tracking the leads and assuming that the pile is the same. Um, it's, it's, very, it's, it's by far the most common that, that we've seen, but, uh, and it works pretty well. Now we've got the fixed frame or, or a guide inside of a well um, or inside of a barge. You know, they cut a hole in the barge or, or just have an A-frame on the side of a on the side of the barge and it'll, um, it's, it's fixed. And so you can put the GPS antennas um, on the barge instead of on the leads. And the center of that pile is, is very static. It's not gonna move. Um, and you can provide uh, just an offset to the center of the pile and it's uh, much safer. So the common sensors we use, uh, like I said, we're, we're a Trimble Marine dealer. And uh, so I got our yellow products up here. Um, 
We use, uh, got to use correction source. You got to have some sort of RTK fixed GPS signaling. Uh, this is very high precision positioning that we require. And um, so orientation is, is used. If you have any sort of an offset, you're always going to have to have heading. Um, and heading matters a lot for battered piles or if you're not using uh, round piles, you don't really need uh, heading so much because they're the same all the way around, but square, yeah, it's definitely needed. Um, so we'll use a dual, dual antenna receiver that'll give us heading and position. Um, you can also use other setups I'll mention later. Uh, we need some sort of angle sensor. Um, an inclinometer gives us pitch and roll. Uh, like I said, we'll usually put this on the leads. Another option um, that the PDS system for monopile uses um, are fixed lasers that'll shoot the pile at the middle, the top, middle, and the bottom uh, to give us a line of where the pile is, and, and that way it gives us position and inclination. Um, we have not used that ourselves, but uh, hoping to. So I don't know how familiar y'all are with uh, PDS, but uh, when you're, after you set up your project, you go into to making your vessel, and, and this is where uh, the secret sauce is. Um, so you can uh, give it, for visualization, any sort of shape that you'd like. Um, it, it's, they don't really have like a, a pile driving standard shape, so most people will provide a, a DXF drawing of of what they have it gives the uh, operator a really good visual of where his machine is and where the pile is. Um, and then these offsets that I, I mentioned earlier, you'd have a, your primary GPS would be your reference point and then you'd have offsets based on, uh, vessel referenced offsets based on uh, where your GPS is. Um, so th this one actually had, uh, not only did they have the center of the pile, which is what you're tracking, but they also had a drill that they wanted to track because uh, they would drill down and then place the pile there. Um, and so they, they use the uh, guidance system for both of those things. And then the equipment, that's, that's the other important part here. Um, it's interfacing all, all the sensors that you're using into PDS. Um, so it knows, it knows the signal that it's getting, it knows the computations that it has to make uh, for the guidance. Um, interesting about this one is that they were using just a, a single position and heading, um, just like the dual antenna receiver uh, I showed earlier. But um, the way that the heading works is that they have to have a certain number of satellites in common with each other, um, both antennas do. And uh, because of that, the lead was just so, so large um, that it was blocking a good portion of, of satellites. You know, the left side would have all the ones over here. This one have all the ones over here and they wouldn't have enough shared. Um, so they brought in two single antenna receivers and they had enough common satellites with the base to go RTK fixed positions and then the PDS um, would do the computation for heading inside of itself. Um, so there's a lot, of, a lot of customization you can do, a lot of different solutions, uh, and PDS makes it all possible. So once you've got all the equipment set up, you want to set up your real-time views. Um, and just like the report, they can be fully customizable with any sort of numbers you want to see. Um, as I showed earlier, they had the, uh, the 2D bullseye, 3D view. Um, you, you can put anything, you can bring in DXFs for, for your avoidance zones, uh, S57 charts if, if that's something you'd want to see too. Anything, the, the, you, want, you want to make the operator as comfortable as possible. And um, there is such a thing as information overload, but um, you can customize it however you like. I got another video here. So uh, these guys are using just vertical piles. Um, not really into the whole 3D view. That wasn't necessary for them. Um, but we, were, we brought in the whole design of, of what they were bringing in, um, the pile numbers, and uh, 
it's this the stuff down here is by far the most important. Um, it's it lets them know exactly where they need to go. Um, the guy the guy in the crane, the operator, he's uh, he's the one calling all the shots. He sees the guidance and they bring it in really quickly. Um, these guys are starting a little higher because they start on the side of a hill and it kind of falls into place. Um, but you can be, uh, PDS can do pretty much anything you need to when it comes to pile driving at this point. And uh, any questions? Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.